Hey guys, Jim here with another video for you. Look, it's me. It's not just the voice. Sorry if I'm, my face is going to scare anybody away from my channel, but I just wanted to do a special video today. Uh, I just got back from taking my grandson to see the new Godzilla X-Kong, the new Empire, I think it's called, uh, movie. And I mentioned in a previous video that if I went and saw it, I would do a little review. So that's what we're doing. Uh, first of all, he really enjoyed it. He he thought it was great. He absolutely loved it. Uh, me, I was a little underwhelmed by it. Uh, I have never gone into any of these MonsterVerse movies with any kind of expectations of plot or character development. It's basically just give me some kaijus fighting and I'm a happy guy. And when that happens in this movie, I was a happy guy. Some of the fight scenes in this movie and the creature uh, interactions are fantastic. They are really great. Unfortunately, for a two-hour movie, you get maybe 40 minutes of that. The rest of it is just more human being interactions that don't make a lick of sense, that are boring as hell. There's maybe one character in this movie that you actually care about, and that's the little girl from the previous installment, uh, the Duff Girl, who can communicate with uh, Kong. She has a bigger role in this movie. She's actually very good. Uh, the performances are good, okay? There's no annoying characters. It's just, they don't need to be there, quite honestly. And I think my biggest complaint of the movie overall is that they should have just called this Kong the New Empire with special appearance by Godzilla. Because Godzilla, quite honestly, is a secondary character in this movie. This is a Kong story. And they bring in Godzilla when it's necessary. The majority of the movie, <clears throat> Godzilla is either off the screen or he's absorbing radiation for the big battle at the end. And I won't go into spoilers on why he needs to do that. Uh, there are a couple of other kaiju in this movie, including an appearance from a kaiju that was in a previous installment. I'm not going to, again, I'm not going to go into spoilers here. But uh, overall, like I said, it's a decent movie. Okay. Uh, I didn't hate it. I actually did enjoy it. Um, if I had to grade it on a scale of 1 to 10, I would give it a 6.5, 7, okay? Uh, for reference, I would give Skull Island, you know, Kong Skull Island, like a solid 8.5, and, and I would give the last installment maybe an 8. So it's right in that same area. It's better than the original Godzilla. It's miles better than the one from the 90s with Matthew Broderick. Uh, but again, my main complaint is that there's just not enough Godzilla action. I'm a Godzilla guy. I do like King Kong. I grew up with the Godzilla movies, and he will always be my favorite kaiju. And quite frankly, like I said, he is underused in this movie. But other than that, it's decent. So if you have kids, I'm sure they'll enjoy it. Um, if they enjoyed the previous movies, if you enjoyed the previous movies, you'll enjoy this. If you go in expecting anything more than just popcorn entertainment, you're going to be disappointed. Okay, so that's it. That's my little video for today. Uh, I will be back at it sometime in the next couple of days, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Bye, guys.